I will now show you how to define uh, property types uh, in uh, Protégé. Before doing that, uh, a good practice is whenever you add something to your ontology, click on Reasoner and then click Synchronize Reasoner. This will check the consistency of the ontology and if nothing happens then everything is okay. Otherwise, you may get an error message, uh, which means that you may have uh, to find a way to fix your ontology. So in this case there's nothing wrong, everything is okay. I will now show you how to define property types. It's very easy. You just have to select your property and then you just have to click on the appropriate boxes here to define your property as functional, transitive, symmetric, asymmetric and so on. Let's have a look at some examples. For example, geoborders is a symmetric property because if country A borders country B, then B also borders country A. So to define borders as a symmetric property, I click on borders and then I click on symmetric in this list. Now, Geoborders is not a functional property, as a country may border more than one other countries, but all other properties are functional. For example, is located in connect a city to a single country. A city may not be located in two countries. This is why is located in is functional, and actually all other properties are functional too. So to define a property as functional, I just click on the property and select functional from the list. Its capital or is also functional. Borders is not functional. Its part of is functional. And my data type property, population, is functional too. Now, let's see how I can define the inverse of a property. I will define a new property called uh, contain state as the inverse property of uh, geo is part of so that uh, if state A is part of a country B then uh, B contains state A. To do that I go back to the object properties. My new pro I define the new property contain state as a sub-property of the top object property and then this is the inverse of this part of so I just have to go here inverse properties find this part of, select this part of and then click OK and now contain state is the inverse of this part of I do not have to define the domain and the range of this property Contain state is the inverse of this part of, so its domain is the same with the range of this part of, which is country, and its range is the same with the domain of this part of, which is state. And finally, I'll show you how you can create uh, a property chain. Here I define, I want to define a new property called nearby country as a property chain to connect the city to the neighboring countries of the country that this city is located in. So here, nearby country is composed of two properties, is located in and borders. To do that, I define a new property, nearby country, as a sub-property of the top object property, and then I want to define that this property is a property chain of is located in borders. Just have to go here in property chains, add, and then I add the name of the first property of the chain is located in. And then I add the symbol, the connector between the different properties of the chain, which is O, and then space, and then the name of the second property and then OK. And in this way I have defined nearby country 
as a property chain of borders of is located in borders. And this stage I will select prisoner key again, synchronize prisoner, nothing happens, so my ontology is consistent, uh, so I can proceed.